Yeah. So we covered the issue of kind of being who you are before you get in the booth and keeping yourself stable and don't be better, uh, get better. I think what relates to that is practice your emotional self, practice mm. emoting, expressing yourself, making sure you're emotionally available. Mm. So many, I mean, and it's easy in this world to close down. You got to protect yourself against so much all the time. All the texting, everyone's texting. Oh, yeah. Can we, can we talk to a person? I know, really? I mean, it's <laughs> ridiculous. No one calls anyone. Yeah. Why no are connection. you calling me? <laughs> yeah. Right? In fact, they get mad when you call. Yeah. What? Is there a problem? Yeah. No. Why are you calling? <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah. So, I mean, and because we get paid to do that, yeah. we have to take care of our emotional tool. Yeah. And I think it's like, I, I teach an emotional exercise in my class where you're where you're measuring your emotion and you're practicing that emotion with a phrase one through mm. 10 so that if you're not only are you um, expanding your own bandwidth but you're giving your director a way to direct you mm. hey was that a three on in terms right. of excited was that a three on ten right. or a five on ten right. that was a zero on ten yeah and you're like yeah. oh okay thank now you very much you now i know what to do I have an algorithm for me that I mean, yeah, I totally agree. You have to show up emotionally in your life if you're going to want to show up emotionally in your work. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's like, I just feel like I, I want to, you know, be brave in life, mm -hmm. you know, be emotional, work hard. And if I'm doing those things, then, then everything else should sort of work out. So if, if yeah. I'm not being brave, then... Yeah. You know, like, you know, and I don't know how many times that's going to happen in a week, but I feel like I have to kind of go, because stuff comes up in life. There's an awkward conversation you have yeah. to have with someone or whatever it is. And, and you got to like, well, you know, tired. <laughs> you know, you just, you got to show up and, and, and it's like, or you got to perform in front of something or I don't, whatever it is. And, and you just kind of got to, you got to step over a line that mm -hmm. forces you to be brave to do that. Yeah. And I just feel like. You know, th those kinds of things, being emotional, like you're saying, showing up is, is like, it just contributes to, so when you have to do that with a script, it's then you're just like, you're like, I'm open. Mm -hmm. I'm already open. Here you go. Yeah. But before you do it, like, I mean, yeah. so many people take the script and they dive in and they just do, and then they end up doing 50 reads and it sounds like nothing. Yeah. I've been there, done it. Yeah. You've got it. Like, use whatever it is. <laughs> piece of music, exercise. Right. Often it's a piece of music for me. Yeah. I'll get inspired if it's an inspirational read or if it's excited, I'll, you know, yeah. rather than putting it on because if you put it on, I just, it's not good enough. Yeah. yeah. Not good enough. I, the one thing I, I do to help with that is another exercise I call the confession exercise, okay. which is you get to the mic and for 20 seconds, you're like, this is exactly how I'm feeling right now. Oh, that's cool. Where I'm like, oh, I feel like crap. I'm tired. I don't really feel like doing this audition. But I really want to get to a place where I can connect hmm. and then I'm there for you. And you talk, you start talking to your audience and slowly cool. you go from, you know, yourself and focus on you to the other way around. And you're like, but this is where I want to be. And this is where, mm. who I want to be for you. And then slowly it shifts your energy forward and it gets you into the read. I really like that. That's cool. Mm-hmm.